Strickland. Hello, am I speaking with John Jumper? Yes. Uh, this is Adam Smith calling from the website of the Nobel Prize. Many congratulations. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I detect in your voice some surprise. Can I just ask you how you feel about this? <laughs> oh, it's it's absolutely extraordinary. I I think it's I think it's a wonderful group. I think it's like I've been a computational biologist a long time, and and you know I I like to say in talks we need this to work. Um, you know we need. Oh, sorry. Uh, we need we need computation to solve the problems of biology, and I, I just love that it's starting to work. And I I can't believe we're getting recognition this fast for it. And I think it's I don't know. I what I love about all this is that I I can draw this. You know, I used to be a physicist. That kind of made it amusing to me the the prize yesterday, right? For yeah. Physics of AI. Yeah. But uh, but like we could draw a straight line, you know, from what we do to people being healthy because of what we learn about biology in the cell and everything else and it's just extraordinary and things are moving so fast uh, they are <laughs> Jeez. in the modern era four years from paper to nobel or maybe three three or four four <laughs> you know you're the youngest you're the youngest chemistry laureate for over 70 years <sighs> god <laughs> you know i i love this speech i don't know if you've ever seen it you and your research by, by richard hamming and he talks about you know he does talk about after people get you know Prizes, or I guess there's also Nobel Itis, but yeah. people only work on important things, so they never work on the small things that become important. Um, that's a scary thing. Yeah, you got that's that gives you something something to think about, doesn't it? <laughs> um, let me see if I can get down. I apologize. We have some cleaners no, no. around, so we... I was trying to avoid the oh, vacuum sound. You get to do this once per year. It's not even fair. <laughs> um, my plan was to. I thought I had a ten percent chance, so my plan was to sleep in. And, and my goal was actually to sleep into the point that if I will, by the time I wake up, either way, I know if I've received the Nobel. It didn't quite work because it's hard to sleep in that it much. Must, but, it, must, uh, it must be with a 10% chance or <laughs> an estimated 10% yeah. chance. You must, yeah, you must be on a little bit on, on tenterhooks. I couldn't believe it. I, I was telling people it, it made early October miserable because it felt like a 10% chance of winning the lottery. Well, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Better objectively the best anyone ever gets at a 90% chance of disappointment. How nice it's come quickly. The f future Octobers can be relaxed. Exactly. Future Octobers can be relaxed. <laughs> anyway, it's a, it's, a, it's a great pleasure. If you don't mind, I'm going to go now. It takes me about an hour to get into the okay, office. Okay, well, uh, have, a, have an exciting journey, and um, uh, they could at least send a car for you, perhaps. <laughs> I'm, sure they w I'm sure they would, but it's actually slower, heading into London. All right. Anyway, congratulations again. It's been a pleasure speaking. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Bye. You just heard a special episode of Nobel Prize Conversations. If you enjoyed this moment, you won't want to miss a single episode of our podcast. Be sure to subscribe. We're available on Amazon Music, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and many, many more popular platforms.